Go. Okay, it's grilling season, and if you're anything like me, you're always looking for brand new recipes. I have to be honest, some nights I just throw meat on the grill and then pick out some potatoes or some couscous to serve with it. Well, last week at my, my maths class, a gentleman came and taught us a new recipe, and I thought it was so cool, I've been dying all weekend to try it. So I thought, what better idea than to try out my new recipe and have you guys watch along. Today we have a little helper with us who doesn't seem to want to get down. So this is Isaac, and he's going to help us. Not too much, though. There'll be no touch of the chicken. Anyway, this is a whole chicken. Guys, you really don't need to be scared of it. The bottom line is it's way cheaper than chicken breast. Chicken breast, I average out, if I can get them from between $1.50 and $1.75 a pound, then that's a good deal. This pure, natural, untouched chicken cost me 58 cents a pound. That's a saving of a dollar a pound. That's huge. So this whole thing cost me 250. And the ingredients we're going to put in there are going to cost me hardly anything at all, rounding out my meat at under $3. So whatever I serve on top of that is still bringing our meal out for the three of us at around about $4. So well, let's see if I can make this and get a little help as well. All right, here we go. So these are the ingredients. I have some basil. Um, again, you know, necessity is the mother of invention. You're supposed to put time in there. I don't have any time. I know frugal gourmets, but it's very different. Um, but, you know, for us, it's just a herb, and we're going to go ahead and use it. Garlic cloves, butter, and lemon. So starting off, I'm just going to smash up some garlic cloves. Now you can take the skin off. We lived in Thailand. I'm, I hate the fact that I can vlog and you guys can watch me cook because I really don't cook like I should. But anyway, I am smashing these things up. Um, like I was saying, in Thailand, we ate whole garlic cloves even with the skin on. And so to us, this don't matter. So I'm just going to go ahead and pop those in here. Turn my chicken around. And pop those in there. I also have to go ahead and cut my lemon before I do all that. Now I've got a huge lemon here and I really don't think it's all going to peek in there. The other thing I've got to go ahead and do is just take off the butter. Apparently you stick a whole stick in there. I know. Sounds like a lot to me too. All right, here goes. Put that in there. And then pile on in there our lemons. I'm just going to stuff as many as I can I can, so there's still room for the garlic. So that's how I'm doing this. You can tell everything I do is kind of <laughs> haphazard. My cooking, guys, is haphazard. I put food on the table. No, 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 no. And that is how I work it. Okay. We love garlic, so I'm just going to go ahead and stuff a bunch of these in here before I put any more lemon in. Like that. Alright guys, give me a second. Take a look at my son for a second while I wash my hands so I can open the basil. Hold on a minute. Isn't he adorable? He got a Beckham haircut a couple of weeks ago, and if you ask for my opinion, he's way cuter. All right. Basil. Again, this should be time. Who cares? Throwing some on the top. Some inside. Just kind of... All right. One chicken. Stuffed, looking all amazing. I've been so excited about this recipe. Again, you can put um, string on this just to keep it together. Necessity is what? <laughs> Motherhood of invention. I have no string. I can't be bothered to run out. Somebody suggested that this might be a good idea. I will let you know if it was. So I'm sticking skewers through it. And then I'm just putting it. That's probably why one doesn't use skewers. Probably the reason because it's hot on pen, but there you go. One chicken, okay, ready to go onto the grill and ready to get cooked. And honestly, I think what I'm going to do is just squirt some lemon over the top, 
I do love lemon chicken. My husband's not going to be happy camp, but that's, that's okay. And um, we're going to throw it on the grill. Doesn't that look good? I don't know. That just seems like a fun recipe. I'm probably going to make some couscous with it and um, get some fresh frozen green beans to go alongside as well. And I will be back once it's cooked. Put it on the grill for about an hour on medium heat. I'll be right back. Well, this is one of those I wish this was smell of vision moments because this really does smell amazing. And as you can see, it looks really good too. And it was really simple and easy. And honestly, those of you who don't know, I don't really like to cook. In fact, I don't like to cook. And to be able to serve something that looks amazing, and I know it, I've tried a little bit of it, it tastes amazing. I would serve this to company, and I'm sure there would be a lot of oohs and ahs. So I already have couscous um, that I've made, and I um, also cooked some green beans that were fresh and then frozen. And so we're going to have a great meal tonight for less than four bucks for something that, as you can see, it looks spectacular.